So guys, after the Portuguese came to East Africa, they were Christian. So they decided to uh, construct a chapel and this is the information about the chapel, Portuguese chapel. And uh, let me read for you the information about it. This building is the Portuguese chapel built by the Portuguese in the 15th century. The adjoining graveyard is where the St. Francis Saviour buried two of his sailors during his journey to India in 15. 42. So, uh, after the Portuguese left Marindi in 1593, the chapel was deserted until the British arrived in 1893 and the first British Marine District Commissioner, Mr. J. Bell Smith, was buried here, okay, that's nice, in 1894 from the 1985 and graduate. So, let's go in and find, uh, see the chapel. This is the chapel and this is how it looks from the the outside i'm uh, told that uh, this is the original ground where the chapel was constructed by the portuguese so as you can see from outside there are some graveyards and uh let's go and explore the chapel from the inside so these are the graveyard and how they are from the british commissioners so you can see some of their names are still visible over here and, uh, some of our soldiers that so, are visible. Oh, the ones that are visible. Like, start from here. This one from here. Mm -hmm. Soldier, pioneer, and farmer, 1875-1955. So these are graveyards for back in the 18th century. So, mm -hmm. so you can see from here. This one is visible. Mm -hmm. To the memory, lovely memory of uh, Sir lies Edward Joseph. So who was he? He was a soldier or maybe a farmer? This guy is in proper. Hmm? And I can see, I can see. Uh, 12, uh, hmm, I can see clearly by the way. So. Because I can see, okay. So players George Joseph uh, Mostian. 11 the uh, parents and uh, i think he was a soldier brothers and margaret yeah he was a soldier so so basically this is how this uh this is just a small section of land and uh so some pillars are still visible as you can see loving memory of uh, geoffrey hubbard lock of Town Bridge, England, Nairobi, huh? 1958, yeah. yeah. 1958. This is the entrance to the chapel. It's always locked. Uh -huh. Then you must get somebody to open for you. Uh -huh. The keys are lined in the ticket office at the first of the Gamma Pillar. Uh -huh. So before you come here, you must touch the first Kodagama pillar so and that you can get, get from there. Then you are allowed to enter uh -huh. the, the, the chapel. The chapel. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute, huh? okay. Without ticket, you cannot. So, this is the chapel. This was, you said this was the first. Yes, is, uh, among the first. The first Catholic, Catholic church. church. Wow. So you can see. So are these the original pic the original no, statue? This is the collection that was brought by the Catholic fathers around uh, up or up or this side of the coastal line of the Kenya. Okay. Yes. So guys you can see these are some of the, the benches. The seating arrangement. It used to be that way. Mm -hmm. And then the, the altar the way you can see this is the altar. The altar it was connected to the wall. W w the altar? This altar mm -hmm. is connected to the wall. Oh, connected. Oh, the altar is connected to the wall. Yeah. Okay. So that symbolizes that uh, it was a long time mm -hmm. altar. Altar. That, uh, currently, though I'm not a Christian, mm -hmm. but currently the altar, I think, uh, normally is disagreed from the wall. The way I was informed mm -hmm. is that uh, the preacher and the, all the audience. Mm -hmm. They look on one side. Right? Yeah, yeah, they face uh, yeah, the front to the towards yeah. the altar. Yeah. Okay. And maybe do you might uh, maybe might be knowing why was 
why did they construct an altar um, fixed to the wall? I was told mm -hmm. uh, for Christians, mm -hmm. uh, it is Vatican I, before Vatican II. Before Vatican II. Yeah. So Vatican I, they're constructing yeah, altars. Altar, yeah. Yeah, the preacher and Connect. on one side. Yeah, connected to the wall. Connected to the wall. Okay. Unlike today. Unlike today, yeah. Because today they are disintegrated from the wall. Exactly. Okay. So, this is maybe somewhere Papa. to place. The? Candle maybe for the light purpose. Yeah, candles, yeah, for the light purpose. So, and the wall looks rough because it's the coral still the, being used. Yeah, so this is the color. That's why the wall looks like that because they use the color leaves. Yeah, color leaves maybe are gotten from under the ocean. So, and you can just uh, work on them anyhow because when you get them from the ocean, they are alive. You can do any whatever you want. So, as you can see, that that they didn't use maybe like looping material, maybe like yeah. iron sheets. Made original. original. So they use the uh, palm, leaves. palm leaves, basically known as makutin in Swahili. Yeah. Which is very common in the coastal line. Yeah. So that's how the church, the original chapel looks like. It's a very small. So this is the seating arrangement. Yeah. So you can see they used very thick oh, yeah. timbers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's how it is. That's how it looks like. You don't need to check off your identity 100%. Yeah. So that is the altar that is fixed. To the wall, to the wall. So you can see there is no space between the altar and the wall. Uh, these ones were blocked by the Catholic Catholics. Uh, from, the from the Catholics, in honor to the yeah, to the Portuguese. Exactly. Okay, so uh, this chapel or this place is under Kenya yes. National Museum of Kenya. Kenya. So, yeah. That is the commitment. Okay, so let me. I can read for them as the custodian of the Kenyan na natural and cultural heritage. The management of the National Museum of Kenya NMK is committed to providing its customers and all stakeholders of the times equality. So that's basically their job to do. So that's how it looks like. So from here, guys, you can see how they have just maintained the landscape of their place. It's still beautiful, it's still amazing, and uh, the pathwalk for you to access the chapel easily and you can move around it uh, easily, learning and seeing all things that uh, were taking place and still uh, are taking place. You can see the graveyards that are still here from the British uh, custodians, maybe, and all those people. So. And then tell them that uh, the nearby uh, the private houses, uh -huh. which have been constructed after the chapel. Eh? Uh, all these pri uh, these are private houses that private are. Houses, yeah. And you can see. This and one the... is Italian house cottage. Uh -huh, Italian. It's empty. The balcony. What about the balcony? Uh, yeah, that he wanted people to live in. Uh -huh. But I don't know what can happen. There is nobody inside. Okay. Maybe business is down. Uh -huh. And then on the other side, uh -huh. those guys are also uh, Swahili. Uh -huh. Uh, they have fish market around. Okay. The chapel. The chapel. Yeah. So that is the basically that is the chapel. You can see it from uh, as a symbol of Christianity. You can see there is still a cross on top of it. So that is how the chapel looks like from outside. Just a, a small, maybe a fifty by fifty. Uh, that is it. That's how you finish your uh, tour in the chapel and you walk out so guys remember to subscribe to the channel like comment share i'm your truly historian and travel historian so remember to subscribe